Hi, this is your host Kevin here, and tonight I am here to talk about the Wild Kingdom, the Wild Kingdom of the Domesticated House Cat. Yes, this rare, unique feline breed known to inhabit the Earth. In Europe, in Asia, in the Africas, in Canada, in Mexico, not so much America. Because we all know there are, in fact, no cats in America. Correction, I have just been informed that there are, in fact, cats in America. I am in America right now. So, oops on that one. Nonetheless, tonight I would like to learn more about these creatures. I would like to get to you understand them a little bit better. Help you, the audience, understand them a little bit better. Find out what do these cats like? What do they enjoy? What do they eat? Do they really enjoy lasagna? Or is that just a myth? Can they even love? These are the questions that I want to answer here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let me bring out my first guest from the St. Louis Zoo and Discount Tires, ladies and gentlemen, Doug. Welcome to the show here. Thank you. My name is Doug. Again, I'm from the St. Louis Zoo and Discount Tire. Mm -hmm. This is our friend Felicia here. As you can see, she is a domestic house cat. Ooh, she has she has black fur. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. It looks like she's... Uh, it's her first time on camera. Well, you know, <laughs> we all get a little shy here every now and then. Um, That's a little embarrassing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at her. And her. She's all black. With the, Except for her little white feet and her little Santa Claus beard. <laughs> Thanks for having us on the show oh, today. Oh, no, thank you for being on here. Um, I have a lot of questions here tonight. Questions about cats, uh, domesticated cats. Um, just finding out uh, a little bit more about them, what they like. I, I've done some research of my own here. All right. Went online to find some cat facts. Um, you can do that too on the internet. Um, if Felicia's you will. here to answer them for you. Oh, good. I, I hope she speaks uh, people. <laughs> that's why I am. She I'm doesn't person. speak people. <laughs> oh, 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 where, where are you going, little girl? Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> We're talking with Kevin today. Hello. Hey, hello. Say hi. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay, I can have that. All right. Let's get on some questions. It's getting creepy. Okay. Um. Uh, some, of the, some of the facts I, I've read on here online. Um, is it true that uh, both uh, humans and cats have the same identical regions in the brain responsible for emotion? We absolutely do. Wow. There's been many scientific studies that have scanned the brains of humans and cats and found that we are actually very similar. So cats, you may think that they're loners, but they want to be with people just as much as we want to be with them. Does that mean they're even capable of love? Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Oh. Okay, well, my next question here. Um, uh, I, I read that they supposedly dislike citrus, uh, citrus scents. Is that true? That's absolutely like true. That's absolutely true. A lot of times when people are training their house cats, when they bring them into a new environment, mm -hmm. such as this lovely house environment that we have set up oh, yes, right now, very, uh, house -like. to keep them from scratching on couches or curtains, a lot of people use a citrus scent uh, that can be found at many retail stores to keep cats from away, to keep cats from scratching or keep them away from damaging your home. Gotcha. For the t so if you uh, want to keep a cat from the <laughs> area, like for example, to keep that cat from jumping up behind you, all you need to do is spray some uh, citrus behind your shoulder and she will stop hopping up there. All right. Perhaps there is an orange grove behind us. <laughs> oh, is this Florida? I don't think so. No, we're, we're in Nebraska. We're in Nebraska. <laughs> there's no, there's no, there's no, no orange trees grove. here. None. Just a lot of cow shit. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep on going, cause hey, we're having a ball now. Oh, I think she's calmed down. Oh, 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 good. Oh, oh, the, the drugs are finally kicking in. I see. <laughs> um, let's see here. It says a cat's jaw um, has only up and down motion. Yeah, it is. It is very different than a human. Whereas a human can go slightly right or left. Uh huh. 
or many other animals that can move their jaws really? differently. Just... A cat is simply up and down. Up and allows down. them to eat and it helps them from their similar to their relatives who hunt, you know, clamp on to things. I see, I see. Such as gazelles. Ooh. Like it's like, like, like fucking seagulls, it's like, you know, and he's trying to go in for the kill and it just it can oh, catch it and keep Perhaps. That, uh, Perhaps. Okay. I, it's one of its major food sources is not necessarily the seagull, but, but some of their relatives may hunt gazelle or other types of deer and they clamp down. Clamp down on it and then And uh, it hel it helps them actually oh. quite a bit. Well aren't you just a little adorable killer? <laughs> Let's see, um, true the cats cannot see directly underneath their nose? Like most animals, they cannot see directly below their nose, but they have a great sense of smell ah, good. and perfect eyesight that actually works in a 200 degree vision. Wow. Which is actually quite different from humans. They would make great CIA agents. Absolutely. I believe so. Perhaps. You would never do that, but would you? Would you go in? Would you join the CIA and spy for us and kill Mr. Bin Laden? Oh, yes, you would. You no, would you would not. Okay. No, you would not. Uh, let's see here. It says the cat has uh, two vocal cords. Uh, they can make over a hundred sounds. Is that correct? That's absolutely correct. I don't know if you've listened to your cat at home, mm -hmm. but they make multiple sounds telling you when they're hungry when they just want to be petted, like she is right now. But they make multiple sounds depending on their attitudes and moods. Can you perhaps demonstrate some of these sounds? Maybe give us some uh, samples of what these sounds sound like? Sometimes you get a I, I've actually heard that one before. That, that, that tells me that she's getting hungry. Oh, okay. Or a meow, meow, meow. Oh, yes. That usually tells me that she's glad I'm home. Oh, I see, I see. And she just wants to cuddle on the couch. What sound does she make when she's uh, hanging out the uh, back alley of a Chinese restaurant? <coughs> uh oh, <laughs> that's, that's not good then, is it? Not at all. Alright, well, let's see. Moving on. Um, let's get some more of these interesting facts here. Uh, how, is it, um, cast, the, the Originally from North America, how did they get here? Did they migrate to this region of the country? No. Well, no. The ocean prevented them from migrating to this I portion see. of the world. They're not good swimmers, I'm guessing. Then they're not. They do not like water. They don't like what cats do not like water. <laughs> not your domesticated house cats. Wow, you hear that here first. Cats <laughs> do not like water. For the most part, they are not going to jump in the bath with you. They won't. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> no. That would be so adorable if they did, though. They start uh -oh. splashing around, the little tails, the rubber duckies. Oh. <laughs> adorable. But it's not maybe, they have, maybe they'd have smaller rubber duckies that they would use. Oh, that smaller would be so than cute. people. But with like little mouse ears on the duckies. Oh, <laughs> that would be just the cutest Perhaps. thing ever. But actually, it was the pilgrims who brought cats with them. Really? Yes. I'll be damned. Did they trade into the Indians for maize? Which is corn, of course. No, we stole the maize oh. from the Indians. The cats, we kept them for ourselves because they're just too cute. I understand, I understand. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Look at them, I mean, come on. Yeah, I wouldn't trade that away for a million bucks right now. Oh. Yeah, she's so adorable. Look at her. Let's see, what else you got? Um, is it true that cats respond uh, better to names at N and E's? It says here. Perhaps. But my little Felicia here. <laughs> His name doesn't end in an E. No, it does not. It's doing quite well and responds to me very nicely. I see, I see. Uh, uh, let's see, what else have we got here? Oh, oh she, she wants to have a word. Oh. <laughs> she, do you have a question here for the show, Felicia? Would you like to answer that yourself? No, 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 no she, she's, she's still she's a little a camera cat. shy. Okay. Um, is it true if a cat's frightened? Uh, that you put your hand over her eyes and his forehead, um, or just bury her head in your armpit, that it'll calm them down? Oh, oftentimes it does. They get worked up sometimes of the silliest things. Gotcha. Being in a house, 
hearing outside sounds, such mm -hmm. as traffic or weather. Or being on a talk show. Or being on a talk show can often frighten them. Frighten. Okay. That's, that's, that's and just too. covering their head and their, their face. It's just like, ah, oh, it's like, oh, it sweet, sweet peace. It calms them down. It's like when people get inside them little uh, chambers with the water in them and they have no light and you just go in there in like a yes. translucent state and you just feel birds and butterflies and unicorns and it's just so... Oh, okay. Anyway, yes, it's, it's quite I, like I, a, I almost went away there for a moment. It's quite like a deprivation chamber, but it's just, it's it's like going into your own bed and crawling into the blankets. Interesting. For them. Interesting. Um, declawing a, a cat. Um, um, is that basically just like clipping, you know, nails for people? Depending on how it's done, um, a lot of declawers will actually remove quite a bit of tissue. Mm -hmm. Um, similar to if you were to cut off your own fingernails mm -hmm. or your own fingers oh down my. to the first knuckle. Ooh. It's similar to that, depending on who you go to. Nowadays, there's a lot of surgical procedures where they go in and actually remove just the claw. And it's, it's actually safer. Okay, okay. So it sounds like, it's almost like they, they you, um, turn them cast into like little shop teachers. Uh, <laughs> Without the accidents and the band yeah. sauce. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Um, oh, oh. You, you, I enjoyed it. You no one's going to cut your knuckles off, you adorable little. Oh, she absolutely has all of her claws. No one's cutting her fingers off. How high can a cat jump? Oh, you have an answer? Oh, what's that? Five? Is that what you said? They say cats can jump roughly seven times the length of their tail, mm. or five times as tall as they are long. I see, I see. And since she's a black cat, I imagine she can jump rather high then. <laughs> Absolutely. White cats can't jump. Oh, no. <laughs> that, that is a fact. Um, Didn't you have to look on the internet for that one, did no, you, No, you do not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what else do we have here? Um, it's, uh, I guess scientifically proven, it says here, that uh, stroking a cat can lower one's blood pressure. Is that just bull crap there? Or no, there legit? there have been studies here. I'm actually doing myself quite the favor by sitting right here now, in Felicia. Your blood pressure is at a, a all time level. low. Wow, it's an all time low right now. Wow, you're almost that is, that is amazing. Oh, oh, uh oh, well, thanks oh, somebody so about to let's let's lay back down and talk to our friend Kevin here. Hmm. Oh, there oh, we oh, are. Oh, looks like she's almost shoving her head in your face. Speaking of which, is it true that a cat, when cats rub their heads in your face, that's like a sign of affection, or are they just trying to headbutt you? It absolutely is. Oh. So Sometimes they are... I like to do it to her, show her how much I enjoy oh. her company. So it's almost like they are capable of love. They are. Uh, that, is, that is magic. Me and Felicia have quite the bond. I, I'm, I'm saying that. It's, uh... Would you like to hold her? Oh, oh no, no. I, 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 I hate cats. But thank you for the offer. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Now, um, like, uh, let's see here. I, I almost read the same fact again, um, which <laughs> would have been just downright silly. Um, if a cat snores or rolls over on his back t to expose her belly, does that mean she trusts you? It absolutely does. Does she does that Felicity trust you? Uh, every once in a while, sometimes she gets in a mood. Uh -oh. Sometimes she gets in a mood. Sounds like a typical woman. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean, kids. Okay. Well, um, I think that's really about wraps up with my, my facts I got here. Um, with that said, uh, thank you for uh, coming on the show here. And, uh, well, thank you for you. having us. And oh, this Felicia says thank you for allowing me to be oh, on your show. Thank you, Felicia. Are you sure you don't want to hold her? Oh, oh no, no, please, no. Oh. I, 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 I'll, I'll barf. Uh, All right. Well, I'm glad we were able to be here and uh, glad we were able to provide you some information thank about you. Uh, house cats. That was very informative. Thank you very much for being on my show, Doug. Um, they could catch you down at the, uh, what was it again? The, the St. Louis. St. Louis. Zoo, Zoo and discount tire. Mm -hmm. Sounds very good. Um, go ahead, catch uh, Doug down there in St. Louis. Um, until next time, this is Kevin here talking in English, saying thank you and good night. Good night. Good night.
Talk to animals.